Hello guys, Goroncroft here with the first mod review ever on my channel. I think that's pretty special, I like it. Uh, this is the Better Grass and Leaves mod, as you can uh, see probably, because the grass and leaves just looks a lot better. Which is logical, because that's what this mod's about. Um, so if you press F9, you will turn off the mod instantly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like you can see what it would be if you did not have the mod and now turn it on and it's amazing right Hello. I think it's amazing if you press F10 you will be able to change some things I already did uh, change some things but here you can also see all the features this mod has to offer so um, you have a lot of features and you can change the brightness of your grass and things. I don't know why you would, but you can, if you want. Um, you can change the height of your grass, so that's uh, it's averagely at 5. Um, and you have a lot of things like that. You have the falling leaves, which you could already see. Um, I'm going to turn down the rate. Um, there's reeds, there's uh, offshore reeds, um, algae, corals, which I really want to show. I haven't seen the corals myself yet, so we'll we'll probably find those. Um, there's rising bubble, lily pad flowers, better cacti, better netherrack, soul sand has been changed, and there's blood. Ex apparently there's blood. But I haven't seen the blood yet. Maybe if we punch that cow over there, we can actually see some blood. No. Oh, that is so awesome. Cow. No. Oh, you can actually... Oh, it even stays on the locks. Oh, 18 plus video. Sorry, no. Just kidding. Right, this is pretty This is pretty cool, though, with the blood. That, that's, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going out of this jungle, because I think it's a bit laggy with all the fancy leaves. Although, over here we can see the reeds, these are the reeds, and since there's some sand over here, I can also show you, if you walk on sand, you leave footprints behind, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the same goes for snow, but there's no snow around, or at least I haven't seen any, since we're in the middle of a jungle. But anyway, as I go grab a cactus, it, it says there's better cactus, so I'm gonna grab that, and oh, that's pretty cool. Gotta love it. Oh, it has like the outcoming thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hadn't, I did not see that yet, and it's really awesome. Now, what we also noticed was better ladders. I don't know how that works. Oh, it's like 3D-ish. Now that that's awesome. That's that's. I could not think of any way to make ladders better, but they could. And if we find a swamp here, which is very convenient. Uh, we can actually see all the reeds growing. Uh, reeds grow on every block, or, well, not every, uh, of course, if we would go into F10 and turn down their spawn rate, reed population, there will be a lot less reeds, but I don't know. Uh, I keep opening the options menu, but that's not necessary. Alright, so here. You can see the reeds are pretty amazing. That's that's just cool. It can be like uh, stalking through the reeds, finding your prey. Also, these lily pet flowers, and as you see, can see the leaves. That's awesome looking. And oh, I'm lagging. What's going on? What the hell? Oh, my Minecraft crashed. Oh no, it didn't. That's weird. Um. So, anyway, let's have a quick look uh, underwater. There's some things too. These are, I think these are the LGs. Uh, or it might be the seaweed. I can't check because it's um, pretty much the, or randomly spawning. They're not really blocks. So, but anyway, the LGs, which I think these are, but I'm not sure, uh, spawn in any... Uh, what of can spawn in any on any dirt block that is in two block deep water, 
So that's pretty cool. Also, you have all these water bubbles. That's also part of the mod. It looks amazing. So I'm going to be hoping that this may end into some kind of ocean-ish kind of biome or not it's going into plains but of course in the plains there's a lot of grass that I can show you another feature of, of the mod is that grass is pretty much being squished by the player and then put back which is really a nice little fine touch also you can see at the side of the block the grass kind of sticks out there that's really awesome and I think I saw when that chicken was walking over there that if a mob stands into the grass I'm on peaceful and that it also bends out oh that's so awesome <laughs> I, I really love this mod it makes Minecraft look so much more uh, realistic pretty much just by adding like more grass and the leaves are like fluffy-ish there's some donkeys over there that's pretty cool <laughs> that's not part of the mod by the way it's just part of this world um, so this mod really I think that's the coolest I haven't checked if it uh, works on service because I don't really have any servers that are 1.6.4 that I can join because all the servers are already at 1.7 and this mod is still for 1.6 it's not out for 1.7 you probably know that already there's no mods at all for 1.7 so that's too bad and we we found another jungle weird shit um, alright I'm gonna hope that this is a freaking uh, an ocean but I'm crashing again um, I don't know what's up with these random crashes my PC is not the best thing ever but I hoped it would be able to uh, deal with this mod. Uh, I thought it wouldn't, but it seems to be doing pretty good actually. I mean, still at a rather good FPS, uh, considering that I'm also generating a lot of world. Um, right, I'm going to show off some things in here while I'm at it. Um, I'm going to grab snow. Um, oh grabbing some snow and I'm grabbing um, mycelium and as we grab that you can see that mycelium also has these uh, same blocks with the same effects when you walk on them they get pushed out so that's really cool and while we're in the source you can see uh, the falling leaf effect as leaves dropping down and as we put on some snow here we can see that there's grass sticking out of the snow still really cool and as we walk on the snow we should be able to see our footprints though I'm not seeing those so I don't know what's up with that but it should <laughs> as it's your footprints just like in the sand let's see if the sand is still doing it yes Alright, so it should do that in the snow as well, maybe. Didn't seem to do it when we were walking backwards though. So maybe that's the case. Okay. What if I do it in a full block? I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, that's kind of weird. Maybe a bug, bug from the update, I don't know. But I think, if I quickly check it out... I think we've reached... oh, wrong button. I think we kind of reached everything except for the... Um, so I think we only didn't... Uh, we, have at, we have had everything except for the seaweed and the coral, but for that we would need a ocean biome. And, oh wait, there's better netherrack and soul sand. Yes, let's... Oh wait, I think we found an ocean. And a snow biome as well, actually, but the ocean is what I'm going for first. So let's just quickly go to that ocean. This is definitely an ocean. Let's... Yes, it's an ocean biome. Right, let's go 
deep into the ocean, take a night vision potion to be able to see a bit. Alright, that's helpful. Um, not seeing any corals or anything though. Don't know what's up with that. Um, I think I might have done something wrong in the settings. Um, wait, where are all the... I think I did something with, like, the death. Maximum, minimal. I think a minimal should be lower. And then they can spawn. Or maybe it's the other way around? Wait, let me just check that again. Maybe the max... Maybe the max needs to be low and the minimal... Does that do anything? No. Um, I don't know how this works out. Um, right, so it seems like I'm not getting any corals. Um, or am I doing it? Oh, oh, we accidentally turned off the mod. Oh, that's it. Alright, so as you can see here, the corals, that looks amazing. And this is probably the seaweed. But especially the corals. The corals only spawn on sand, it seems. Yeah. The corals spawn on sand, seaweed spawns on dirt, and this looks amazing, right? Come on, this makes your ocean a little bit more cool. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Especially because of the night vision potion we can see underwater. We can see all the corals just taken out over there. That's that's good. That's some cool stuff. Uh so I think if I can find back the freaking snow biome, which I think I can't, uh, so I'm gonna have to make my own tree. This is my miniature snow biome. There we go. So if we put snow on trees, also the grass will just turn into snow or the leaves not cross stupid and uh, the leaves will turn into snow leaves and that's just awesome uh i think i said awesome a little bit too much this uh, video but come on it's worth it like this is just amazing so to end off this mod showcase thingy we're going to the nether and see what the better netherrack and the better um freaking uh Soul Sand actually does. So let's do that. So, making a portal. Uh, the cool thing about this grass, by the way, is that it never will be in your way. It's just there, uh, you can place blocks on it. Uh, and everything. It's just awesome. That's it. So we're going to the nether. Quick trip. Nothing too fancy. Just uh, downloading the terrain. Come on. Oh, we still have that night vision going. Oh, uh, should probably disable that. Alright, there we go. So, uh, what's better about this? I don't see any differences in the netherrack. Uh, maybe better, where was it? Footprints, uh, better netherrack is on, so I don't know what could be doing that, but let's see, we do have those soul sand things, I, I don't know why the, I don't know what should be better about this netherrack though, I'm just seeing the normal netherrack, as always. What's weird? I don't see any differences about the netherrack. I don't know if that's a bug or anything. But I don't see differences. Maybe I shoot, maybe I'm blind, but... Oh, I can see it already. Oh, that's really cool. Holy Jesus. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, alright, I got it. I got it. <laughs> that's cool. And as you can see here, this is the soul and effect. Uh, it creates these souls that fly out of your soul sand. Of course, you can turn it 
Um, let's see, where do we have it? Um, it's easy to get lost, but here you can turn it down or turn it off, but I don't know why you would. It, it is, it's awesome. So, why would you turn it off? This is really cool. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for this mod, guys. I've been Goroncraft. Like if you enjoyed, check out the mod in the description. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So goodbye. Leave a like if you enjoyed the mod. And if you enjoyed my commentary over the mod. I put anything in the description if I missed out on anything. Or if you actually know how to. Uh, like what I did wrong with some things I didn't see. I think I saw pretty much everything. But um, if I didn't put it in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you want. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.